consider the earth to be a uniform sphere of radius r and mass m let m be the mass of the earth m is equal to mass of the earth mass of the earth let this dotted circle represent the orbit of a orbit of a satellite with mass m let there be, be a satellite s with mass m m mass of the satellite mass of the satellite orbiting around the earth let this satellite be at a height of h above the surface of the earth let this be h and this length be the radius of the earth this length radius of the earth we already marked that let this point be the center of the earth now this orbit has has a tangential velocity that is velocity perpendicular to the radius or the distance r plus h or radi uh, velocity tangential to its orbit that velocity is called the orbital velocity orbital velocity and we have to find an expression for the orbital velocity we know the mass of the earth we took that as capital m and small letter m the mass of the satellite the gravitational force of attraction between the earth and the satellite is equal to f let's write that as fg is equal to g mass of the earth into mass of the satellite divided by the distance square distance here os is equal to r plus h that is r plus h whole square call that as equation number one now since the satellite is orbiting around the uh, around the center o it has a centripetal force towards the center and as a result there is a centrifugal force suppose the particle or the satellite is at this point m we have the gravitational force acting in this way towards the center of the earth fg and there is a centrifugal force in the upward direction that is equal to fc and the value of centripetal force is equal to fc is equal to we have mass m v0 square that is the tangential velocity there is a tangential velocity we already told that we already discussed that v0 in the tangential direction that is that is also the linear velocity m v0 square divided by the radius the distance here also it is r plus h that is r plus h we have the expression for centripetal acceleration is mv square by r clear let's call that as equation number two so in order to maintain this mass or this satellite in this orbit these two forces must be equal otherwise the satellite will go outside this orbit so we have fc or fg equal to fc to maintain the satellite in the orbit implies we have g m m divided by r plus h whole square is equal to m v0 square divided by r plus h so this is equal to v0 square is equal to g m m taking this to the left r plus h divided in by r plus h whole square into this m will go down m. you can cancel this m and this m and one of the r plus h and r plus h here so v0 square is equal to v0 square is equal to g m divided by 
R plus H. Or V0 is equal to root of Gm by R plus H. This is the expression for orbital velocity. Gm divided by R plus H. Also, we have we have gravity is equal to gm divided by r square that is v0 is equal to root of if you multiply r square with the numerator and denominator you get gm divided by r plus h I'm just multiplying R square to the numerator and denominator. So this term will be this term gm by R square is equal to g. Therefore, v0 is equal to this R square will go outside, it will become R, R root of this is equal to g, g divided by g divided by R plus h. This is another expression for the orbital velocity. And what if the satellite is orbiting very close to the surface of the earth? That is, considering, see, if, if the satellite is very close to the earth, the h is very much less than the radius of the earth or h can be neglected. That is, h approximately equal to zero. Therefore, the orbital velocity is equal to r into, substituting that in here, r root of g divided by r plus 0. Or v0 is equal to root r, r root g divided by r. You can take this r to the inside of the root, so it, it will become r square, r square g divided by r cancel this one of the r, therefore the orbital velocity is equal to root of gr. This is the expression for orbital velocity of a satellite orbiting very close to the surface of the earth. Now we have the orbital velocity of a satellite orbiting very close to the surface of the earth is equal to root of g times r. But you know gravity is equal to 9.8 and radius of the earth is 6.4 into 10 raised to 6 meter approximately. Solving this you will get 7.92 kilometer per second. So that's the orbital velocity of the satellite orbiting very close to the surface of the earth.